We have the opportunity to work together with a variety of different voices, colleagues from all over the world who have different um, strengths that they bring, different perspectives that they bring about life and about how the world operates. And only when we bring those voices together will we have a more complete picture about how the living world works. So in order to uh, really solve the problems of the future, we're going to need to work together as a global community. Problems are not solved in isolation. They're solved in collaborative groups with other people. And they're solved to be realistic. So you have to consider not just your own discipline or your own science, but also some economics and ethics and other things that relate to the real world to help you reach a real world but sensible solution. So it requires combining all those different ways of thinking, being communicative and problem solving and working with other people so that you can reach solutions that actually benefit the world. Because some solutions are going to be great on paper, but in practice, they aren't really practical. So that's why using new ways of thinking to solve problems is really important. As an example, for me, in my PhD project, I, um, even though my background has been in biology, the problem that I really, that really um, captured my interest and that I wanted to pursue uh, involves mechanics and, and physics. And so it required learning a lot of some deep um, theories and ideas in physics that I wouldn't have thought of before. And now I kind of approach, it, it sort of changed the way that I approach biological problems. Now I have this physics lens that I didn't have before and that expands the um, possibilities of experiments I can think of or hypotheses that I could have for how something works. <laughs>